What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out isomers of pentanol or C5H12O. It says pentanol, it ends with OL. And when whatever we have in terms of CNH2N plus 2O, it means that this structure belongs to alcohols and ethers. Pentanol ends with OL, so that's why it become, be, belongs to family of alcohols. And the formula is C5H12O, which it matches with this general formula. So it means that we are looking for some alcohols and we are looking for some ethers. Let's start with alcohols. The first isomer is going to be 5 carbons like that. All connected here. And this one we have OH group. So we must have 12 hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's primary alcohol. It connects to the first one and it's called 1 pentanol. Next one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Connected to the hydroxy group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's going to be on the second carbon. So we have secondary alcohol and it is 2 pentanol. Next one is going to be when this hydroxy group is bonded with the third carbon. Still secondary alcohol because this carbon connects to two other carbons and it is called 3 pentanol and now let's see branches that we have four carbons on the main branch so we have one two three four we have one OH group and let's say methyl group in here so it's gonna be like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Yeah. So that will be 2 methyl. 2 methyl because it's coming on the second one. 1 butanol. Or you can say 2 methyl but 1 O. Next one is going to be the same thing, but the hydroxyl group is going to be on the second one. And it's going to be 2 methyl 2 propanol or but 2 O. Next one is going to be when we have 4 carbons like that. And we have OH in here. But the methyl group instead of the second one is going to be on the third one. So we have 3 methyl 1 butanol and then after that we have another one like this and we have hydroxyl group on the second one so we have three methyl two butanol so these are all the alcohols like let's talk about ethers first ether is going to be so we have five carbons in total so let's say in one side we have four, in one side we have one. So we have N butyl methyl ether. Or we can say methoxy butane. And hydrogen atom is gonna be like that. Next one is gonna be. two carbons in one side and three on the other side so that will be ethyl propyl ether or we can call it ethoxy 
propane. The second one is IUPAC name and the first one is common name. Next one is going to be something like this. One, two, three. One. In this case, we have ethyl in this part and we have isopropyl in this side. So it's going to be basically ethyl isopropyl ether or we can say 2 ethoxy which is this group prop or 2 propane or 2 2 prop prop 2 ane or 2 propane let's call it 2 ethoxy 2 propane next one is going to be basically one carbon in here and the other side we have carbons like that one two three four five carbons so we have methoxy actually two methoxy butane that's methoxy, so it's connected to the second one too, methoxy butane. Or we can also call it isobutyl methyl ether. And last one, we can have. something like this and that will be tertiary butyl methyl ether or that's going to be 2 methoxy 2 methyl propane so basically these are going to be all the isomers of C5H2O or pentanol. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.